Do you want to talk about residential real estate? Well, this video is all about the Edmonton residential real estate market, specifically for pandemic month three. Wait till you see these numbers. They're going to shock you. Welcome to my residential real estate market update for Edmonton pandemic month three. This market update is based on mid month to mid month numbers. So month of June is May 15th to June 15th. And I compare that same kind of time frame month over month and year over year. In this market update, I'm going to give you numbers on two segments, the single family home segment and the condo segment generally for the Edmonton area. So we're going to talk about four categories, the number of sales, what the sold prices are, what things are selling for compared to list price, and how many days on market is it taking. But before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. First up, the single family home segment for June pandemic month three, May 15th to June 15th. The first category we're going to talk about is sales. Sales are up 69% month over month. That is crazy. From 492 sales in May to 834 sales in June. And if you're watching the news, they like to not be so positive. So they'll probably compare the year over year data, which is a little bit down, but really not down that much. When we compare sales from the same time frame in 2019, sales are only down 21% from 1,005 sales to 834. Seems like a lot regular circumstances, but we are in a pandemic and last year we weren't. Moving on to the median sold price for single family homes. We are up slightly by 0.6% month over month from $372,750 to $375,000. This is down year over year, but only by 2.3% from $384,000 to $375,000. So what are homes selling for compared to list price? The sold to list ratio is up both month over month and year over year. From May 15th to June 15th, the sold to list ratio was 97.4% of list price. And lastly, the median days on market for single family homes. Things sold faster in June were down month over month by six days from 46 median days on market to 40 median days on market. However, things are still taking a tiny bit longer than they did last year and we are up five days year over year. Okay, moving on to the condo segment. First up, we'll talk about sales. Sales are up 55% month over month. From 182 sales in May to 282 sales in June. But it's not all good news. Sales are still down when we compare year over year by 38% from 388 sales to 282. <laughs> Moving on to condo sold prices. Another surprise. Condo sold prices are up 3% month over month from $179,400 to $185,000 as the median sold price. But we are still down when compared to year over year by 15% from $212,750 to $185,000. So if sold prices are down by 15% compared to last year, does that mean that if a buyer is going to buy, they should be able to buy for 15% lower than list price? Well, sorry to say, the answer is probably no. More than likely, the seller and seller's realtor has already taken the change in the markets year over year into consideration and has adjusted the list price. In addition, the median sold prices are really only an indication of what people are affording or wanting to buy. So if we're down 15% year over year, that just means people are spending 15% less. It doesn't necessarily mean that homes are worth 15% less. If you want to see the change in home price, it's better to look at the home price index and also compare your home to comparable recent solds 
in your neighborhood. Or if you're in a condo, in your building, even better. The list of sold ratio though for condos didn't actually perform that well this past month. If you're selling a condo in Edmonton last month, the median list of sold ratio was 92.8%. But when we look at the median days on market, things are selling faster month over month. They went from 56 days on market to 52 days on market, but that's taking five days longer than last year. So if you talk to most realtors, they're gonna tell you that June was a pretty hot month. But for who? Because I know not all sellers are feeling like June was a very hot month. So when looking at the total sales for the month, 1,804 for the Edmonton area, 35% of those sales went to homes that were $300,000 or less. 53% of those sales were homes between $300,000 and $500,000. Only 9% of those sales were between $500,000 and $700,000. And 3% of the sales were above $700,000. So what does that tell you? Basically, 88% of the buyers that were in the market last month bought homes under 500,000, with the most popular segment being between 300,000 and 500,000. So if you're a buyer in that price range, you're gonna find some competition. At our office, we had seen quite a few multiple offers this last month. And for you sellers that are selling between 500 and 700,000, things are gonna be a little bit more difficult and may move a little bit slower, but things are still selling, so that's good. Well, that's all I have for you today. So if you found this video to be helpful, please click that like button, comment below, and share this video with your friends. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.